Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you the Learn Math Fast system, and we received, not received, we actually purchased the volume one, two, three, and four for my son's sixth grade year during the 2019-2020 school year. If I knew about this curriculum earlier in our homeschool journey, I would have absolutely included this throughout his um, fifth grade year when he did Saxon Math um, 7-6. With my um, two youngest children, you know, they're toddlers and an infant. However, when they get to um, school-aged math, I am absolutely going to do Learn Math Fast more than likely beginning in the second or third grade alongside whatever core curriculum I'm using. And this can absolutely be your core curriculum. With Learn Math Fast, they say that if you start in the second, third grade, your child will be able to do math from elementary math school math, middle math, and advanced high school math. So that is from your addition, subtraction, basic math, all the way through your pre-algebra, your algebra one, algebra two, geometry, um, and I think even calculus. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know as of this moment, um, August 2019, there are seven volumes, and I think it goes all the way to calculus, maybe? Forgive me if I'm incorrect, but just go to the website and you can find out for yourself, okay? So let me just show you volume two. And I will show you the volumes that I have. I have volume one, which is your addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, your basic. That's your second grade, third grade math. And volume two is like your um, fourth, fifth grade math. Volume three is your middle school math. Volume four is your geometry. Not the geometry that you would do in high school, but more of your middle school type geometry. And then volume five starts your algebra one. So our goal is to get through volumes one, two, three, and four during the sixth grade. Since we are doing algebra one in the seventh grade, we would do learn math fast volume five alongside. With Learn Math Fast, they do um, geometry in the middle in middle school, which is volume four. And I want to say they have another geometry, high school geometry, in a different volume. I'm not sure if that's volume five or six. I forget. But again, in the seventh grade, we're doing algebra one. So we'll do whatever volume goes with algebra one. And then once we do algebra, not algebra two, once we do geometry, we'll do whatever volume goes with algebra geometry okay so let me show you volume two this is just the schedule that we're taking volume one we completed that during the summer june of 2019 we did it in 30 days because it was basic math he did one lesson a day until he was finished and it was easy peasy our goal is to complete um, volume two within three months july through september the next three months do volume three, and then the next three months through the summer, early summer, we'll get through volume four. That's the goal. Here's the table of contents for volume two. An advanced fourth grader. And it goes through basic fractions, and then it goes through intermediate fractions, and so forth and so on. So here are your negative and positive numbers, your integers. So in my opinion, volume two, again, fourth, fifth, I think it coincides great with fifth grade math. And it can also go alongside pre-algebra, volumes two. Let me show you what a chapter looks like. My son loves it. He says it is straightforward. It's very easy to understand. He can read it, do the practice problem, get the problems done, and move on. Okay? So here is a lesson. I will go through the entire lesson, one for you. So take a peek. And this is your basic fractions. I put it down here.
one and three. Volume one was the thickest of one, two, three, and four. And that's because it covers a lot of information. You know, all things, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And this is where your foundational math for those earlier years come in. You know, the second and third grade. But I would be more comfortable with the third grader. Although I can teach a lot of these concepts without having a curriculum, you know, I can teach it with manipulatives, and I probably would teach it with manipulatives to a first and second grader. I would probably start this with, I would say if you are after schooling your child, I think Learn Math Fast is a fantastic tool and resource to use. Again, if you are after schooling, your child is enrolled in school full time, this is an awesome way to um, reinforce whatever they're learning in school, in my humble opinion. if I Again, if I knew about this, that's what I would have done. So see, it says if your child is six to eight years old, start with volume one, page one. Okay, so that's what? First grade, but I wouldn't start my child in here in the first grade. I would focus more on manipulatives, hands-on, you know, things of that nature. And if I do use this curriculum, I would do it with them. I would read it to them, do the examples on the board, um, photocopy some of these worksheets, have them complete it. I would not just give it to them and have them do it on their own. Okay, to determine where your child should start, if you are beginning in like the third, fourth, fifth grade using this, then the website for Learn Math Fast has an online um, test that they can take. My son tested in volume three. However, I just went ahead and bought volume one because I just used it as a refresher for the summer. You know, it's not going to hurt. And again, he did it in one month, a complete book in one month. And if your child is older and they are between 9 and 14 years old and they're struggling with math facts, with addition, subtraction, or they may have some um, a, a type of learning disability, this may be a, a great resource to use as well. Just giving you the opportunity to read these two pages. Pause the video if you want to read this in more depth or in more detail. I'm going to again allow you to read these. Even if it says here, if you have a high school student who is struggling to graduate, you know, start with volume one. It also says if you want your child to be on a fast track, you can complete the whole system in less than a year. So basically, if your ch um, child is preparing for the SAT, ACT, GED, or college placement test, I'm reading over here, then give them volumes one through seven and have them work through it in one year. And after one year, Mommy, they please. should be able to pass those tests with flying colors. So I'm going to just go ahead and go through a few chapters so you can see what the chapters look like along with what the test and um, other components of.
again, volume one, I would say second grade, third grade, volume one works great. Work volume three is your pre-algebra, okay? Let me show you the table of contents, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the pages, a few lessons, along with some worksheets, tests, and the answer key. So this is volume four of Learn Math Fast. Again, these little sticky notes that you see, that's just the um, timeline that we're gonna take to complete it. Um, with Learn Math Fast, they do a little something different. They don't put any type of geometry within books one, two, or three. They do geometry completely separate, which is something I actually like, okay? So again, they do geometry completely separately in grade school. Grade school meaning first grade through pre-algebra, you're not learning geometry, you're learning geometry, the basics of geometry after pre-algebra. So here is book four. I'm gonna go ahead and again show you the table of contents, some lessons, worksheets, tests, and answer key. Your child is in like the 10th grade or 11th grade or 12th grade and they're getting ready to take ACT, SAT, or if they are getting ready to take a college placement test as an example, you can do this program in one year. So let's say your child is in the 11th grade. Start with volume one. Yup, start with volume one. Two plus five is seven. Five times 10 is 50. Start with volume one. Do volume one, two, all the way through seven in a year. They should be able to do volume one in one month, volume two in one month, volume three in one to two months, volume four in one to two months, and so on. If they do that within one year, maybe a year and a half, if you go ahead and put in the summer, they should be able to schedule and pass whatever test they're going to take, SAT, ACT, um, a college placement test. This will serve as a um, test prep or a practice for them, okay? 
I hope this video was of benefit. I hope you found this information useful. I hope you invest um, your dollars, your coins into this program because, yep, yeah, it's just that good. If I knew about this when my child was in second grade, I promise you I would have done this alongside whatever he was doing when he was enrolled in public school. Okay? Okay, guys. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment box below. And as always, be blessed and make it a great day. Bye.